Hello guys, welcome to another video. And uh, I know it's been a while that uh, I haven't uploaded an unboxing video here. But um, anyway, I've got one here for you guys. And um, this time around, it's actually a product from uh, from D Brand. Uh, if you guys, if you guys have I've uh, watched other videos and stuff online. You've seen a lot of the popular uh, tech, tech um, YouTube channels are sponsored by uh, by D Brand. You know, like Unbox Therapy, uh, Linus uh, Linus Tech Tips, and IJ Steen, and some, naming a few others as well. But anyway, I do have a D Brand product over here, and I guess by the description, you guys already know what it is. But anyway, just to give uh, some of you guys an idea what uh, what D brand is, D brand basically is um, a skin for your devices. So I'm over here on the D brand's website right now, and as uh, you can see here, that they have released skins for the Nintendo Switch now. I know that uh, when Nintendo Switch first came out, they had skins for it. They unfortunately had to cancel the skins because they were damaging the actual plastic of, of the console. So they actually had to stop selling them. Just recently, the brand um, just release uh, a new type of adhesive, I guess you'd call for for the switch. So that's uh, that's why it's on here now. But it's not only for the Nintendo Switch; you can get it for your cell phone, as you can see here, and for your iPhone 10, the Galaxy Note 8, and the S9 series. Of course, your iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. And your iPhone 7 and so forth and so forth. It's not only not only cell phones and you know and Nintendo Switch, we're going to shop over here. They got all kinds. You got all your iPhones, all your galaxies, your pixels, your MacBooks, you know, your iPads and OnePlus and and uh, if you've got a Dell XPS like what I have, I can actually get a skin for my uh, for my laptop as well. And that's something that I might might consider that as well which I'm probably going to end up getting anyway and we'll see how this all works out with with um, with the actual installation process and everything that's actually involved installing these skins on your devices on top of that so yeah and it's actually this website's actually pretty cool too so when you have a particular thing that you want so in my case I actually did end up getting a Nintendo Switch skin for uh, for my uh, Switch, right? You can actually customize this. You can go with a camel, so you can you can change here. So you get your left uh, Joy-Con, your dock face, your right Joy-Con, and dock accents, and you can order a tempered glass in your console and so forth. Today, you can actually go all all crazy colors and stuff. So if you go to your right Joy-Con, so if you want to say, oh, let's let's make that one white, you can make that one white. Your front face, you say, oh, let's say I want to make a blue, right here, right? Your dock uh, accents, your console, which would probably be your back and stuff, you want to change it to green, so it shows the front here and the back as well, right? So it is, uh, there's unlimited amount of customization and you can do with this with this particular uh, website and uh, actually it's not really that expensive for skins for your Nintendo Switch um, yeah so in this video here I'm gonna do an actual unboxing experience and then I'm also going to attempt to do it at to install the skins on my switch now if you noticed on on the website they actually have tempered glass for sale there as well I'm I'm hoping that I'm able to use this tempered glass with the skin 
If not, I'm going to have to order a glass through them as well. So that's going to be a learning experience for for me. And it will be a learning experience for you guys, the viewers, the viewers as well. So anyway, this is the actual box that the skin comes in. It's actually quite large. It's got this cool cool kind of a design in here. I guess if you like coloring and stuff like that, you can actually color this here if you really really, really wanted to. You've got the D-Brands um, um, logo here. I'll just zoom in so you guys can actually see that. So that's pretty cool. And of course, on the back, it's got your shipping, shipping label on there. Now, I'm not going to show you the back of this because, of course, it's got my personal information on there and everything. But, this here has actually got a tab right here. It's got the awesome Canadian whips, Canadian flag on there. As you can see there. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know if this means if it's, uh, if it's a Canadian made product or what, but it did come from the States. So, I don't know. So, let's go ahead and rip this open. Just like that. And let's take a look what's inside here. So, there's a huge, a huge plastic thing here. And that's it for the box itself. So let's see what we have here, I know and I can't get this uh, any higher so I apologize for that. Okay, so anyway, it's got this nice kind of plastic sleeve on here and then of course if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I am a big uh, carbon fiber fan. So if you guys see my Ridge Wallet my rich uh, rich wallet uh, unboxing I'll uh, I'll put a link up in here for it and I also have got my uh, fountain pen there as well if you guys haven't seen that video I'll link it up here as well so you guys can go check it out so anyway so this looks like a microfiber cloth and of course it's got the D brand on here I don't know if you guys can see it there Okay, and then we got the one, the one uh, skin here. Actually, this uh, this actually you can actually feel the texture, and this is actually pretty cool. I've seen skins and stuff on on um, on phones and stuff when uh, when D Brand sends out review products for the big tech uh, channels and stuff. That the skins are already on them. But I couldn't really see a really well of video online explaining how how actually to do a proper installation and stuff on this. So this is all going to be new to me. It'll be new to you. So we'll see how this all goes. So, I'm, so this is for the dock, which I'm probably not going to do on camera yet. I'm not sure. And this is your... Uh, dock face of course we got the uh, the inserts here that's pretty cool and you can actually feel the texture of the uh, carbon fiber then you got the joy cons here so they got two different sets of joy cons here so this one here looks like so this one here looks like it just put on the front and on the back right and then these, then these ones here actually wrap wrap around the uh, the actual Joy-Con itself so that's uh, that's that of course I picked all carbon fiber all the way through and then of course we got different um, Nintendo Switch uh, logos here. I don't know, maybe I'll just keep the one that's on there and just leave this one alone. I'm not sure yet. And then uh, this one here. 
looks like is the face. Yeah, so that's where the uh, the actual uh, where you peel off the the actual screen. And then, of course, you got the one for the back, for the back here for the kickstand, the door for the uh, game card, and then, of course, you've got the uh, the slots and everything for your fans and stuff of like that. So, let's take a look what uh, what this is here. Of course, you got the uh, the social media. Information on there on Twitter, Instagram, and I actually am not sure what that is. And then, of course, you got the uh, purchase, delivered, and apply. So, purchase, we knew you could. Delivered, you're welcome. Apply, there's only one correct way. And then you got dbrand.com slash how. And then on the back, you got D brand. It's not a product, it's a culture. So let's take this out of the sleeve here. So taking this out of the sleeve right now. And the sleeve actually feels pretty, uh, it's actually a pretty thick plastic too. And then, let's see here. So I guess this is just, this must be set up for work surface. Oh cool. This actually has uh, some type of uh, a figure here. That's, that's actually pretty neat. So I'm guessing that this is probably what you use to lay your switch and stuff down on here. So that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So, um, let's just take this off of here for a second. I've got my Nintendo Switch there. And first thing is first is let's just get this cleaned up here and see how this goes. Now, you know how how much luck I get with installing tempered screen glasses and things like that. I've shown you that on my switch here and uh, showed you on my Gear S3 that there's a little, little speck on the bottom on my Gear S3 and of course I've got a speck right over here I've shown that before on my uh, initial review so anyway so you guys are probably asking why did you get a skin for your Nintendo Switch and the answer is simple it's scratched already I don't want to get it scratched even more and the plastics they used on um, on this system here is actually not the greatest plastics it likes to attract a lot of oils from your hands so I don't know if I can make this show up on the, on the camera here or not, if I can get the proper angle here. You kind of see over in here, let's see if I can get this to show. You can kind of see a little bit of a discoloration over here. And you can see a little bit of discoloration up here. And if you turn out to the back here and see how much oil this actually gains, of course my switch is all scratched up over here which you guys have seen my other video you guys would know that but this is a really huge a huge um, oil magnet like big time so I'm gonna try to clean this up as much as I can um, I'm going to be using just ordinary glass cleaner here but I'm not going to be spraying it directly onto the switch. I'm going to take a microfiber cloth like this one. And I'm going to spray it on here. See if I can get some of this oil. Some of this oil off of it here. So I just get this a little bit cleaned up here a little bit better. So that 
the skin or the heel will actually stick onto here. So I'm just going to get a good wipe down here. Alrighty. Okay. So first things first is I'm going to take and turn off the actual switch. I think, no I didn't, so I'm going to hold the button down. Keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it. And I'm going to go down to power options here. And I'm actually going to turn it off. So now it's actually turned completely turned off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the Joy-Con out. That's one. And pull the second Joy-Con out. That's two. So I'll leave this for last for the moment. And let's uh, let's attempt to do this here. Of course, I got these covers on these Joy Cons uh, joysticks here. I'm gonna take those off so that it actually uh, makes it easy to put the skin around because I'm sure that skin does it's not designed for these covers. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to install um, I'm going to attempt to install this one here right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to take and peel this and be careful not to uh, rip anything because to my understanding this thing rips really easy so I'm going to pull this completely off just like this and I'm going to put half of it on here just like that so in other words I'm going to use this as a, like a handle so I'm going to take and fit this over just like that okay and then I'm gonna wrap this around Just like that. And then I'm going to take this back here and install this around here. Make sure it doesn't, doesn't fold on you. Okay. Now, I believe I have to use and hair dryer on this so that it um, it kind of wraps around here easy enough so that's what I'm gonna do but look how cool that looks already that's pretty neat then okay um, I'm going to get a hair dryer here and just bear with me for a second all right so I'm gonna heat this up over here I got the sun really low. So I heated it up now. Let's bring this over. 
just like that. And now I'm going to do the bottom sections here. So just taking the, and bending this over and of course this one here is going to go in the middle here. Okay and looks like it's kind of uh, crimpled there. Let's see if you guys can show you guys here. See how that's crimpled so I'm going to give it a little more heat. So we can make it disappear. Okay, that's the best I'm going to be able to do it. And there it is. Once done. First one's done. So I'm going to attempt the next one. So I'm just gonna probably fast forward this part here. So we'll stop here. Just like that. Of course, it's going to be clean. This is not your best. It's on the whole hand. It's all here. Just like that. Okay. And it's going to be easy to get the whole thing out of here. Let's see. I'll get it to be easier for the actual console. So that's what I'm using. Okay. So I'll pop you here so that this thing doesn't work. So push this. This thing doesn't work. This. Okay. Now, with this thing inside here, I'm going to pop you here so that this thing doesn't work. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So push this. And this. Okay, now I'm going to pull this off and bring this thing over. And then pull tight. Don't want to have any jet lines or squeezes. You can here. So I'm going to take the other side again now. So I'm going to pull this over and then pull this thing here as well. Okay, that's it. It's over. Just like that. Press down on it. And there it is. Joy-Cons are done. That actually looks pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty neat. Alright, so those are done. So we're going to put these off to the side now. And I'm going to attempt to do the console now. Um, Alrighty, so I'm going to need this one and this one here. Now, we'll do the back part first here, and what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to take the same sheet again, and I'm going to pull this one off first so I'm um, I'm assuming that the way this is this the way this is gonna go the way it's showing on there right now so we're gonna attempt to put this on now so we're gonna pull this guy off and just going to um, um, actually do it this way so I can put so I can put this on here like so all right and then I'm gonna attempt to install this here 
and see how this goes. So you want to line it up. And then once you're satisfied with it, pull this back and just take and push it down. So the door is done now. So you should be able to open this up without taking the skin off. And there you go. So that's that's part one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to put the kickstand on. So again, what you wanna do is you wanna use this as your handle. So we're gonna pull this off. Just like that. Excuse me, I'm gonna put this on here. Uh, excuse me, okay. Now, use this as a handle again. And uh, you wanna take and you line this up on here. Just like that. And if you're happy the way it is, hold it, peel it back. And uh, put it on. Just like that. There we go. Kickstand's done. Oh, see, I just noticed this. I actually got a little small little scratch here right now. Oh, I don't know if I can show it on the camera or not. Huh. I'm just curious to see how, how well the skin's going to hold up with taking the switch out of the dock, if it's actually going to hold it in place or not. So that's, uh, that's that. Okay. So now, I'm going to, uh, try to install this so of course what you want to do is you know, now you want to use this big one here as your handle so I'm going to pull this back completely off just be careful that you don't accidentally rip it and then you're going to take and you're going to put this halfway on here just like that and then you're going to attempt to line this up here so let's uh, and there like it's good right there and then that seems to be good too all right so as you can see it's actually pretty lined up pretty good now what you want to do is you want to take the hair dryer now and you want to heat up these curvatures here so that it actually takes and it stays stays on there so I'll do that right now That's the number one there. Now we're going to do this section right here. So 
So you're going to push this back now, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to do this section right here. back just like that okay so now I'm gonna pull this out and pull this out of here and now lay the rest of it down just like that so if there's any creases or whatever on here you can always pull back on it and uh, and try again okay there of course pull back on here so now again I'm going to take the hair dryer okay. Okay, so pull this in And there it is. Back part's done. Doesn't that look cool? I do. I feel like it does look cool. I'm actually happy that I went with um, with this with the skin like this. Um, okay, what the heck? I'm actually happy that I went with this uh, with this skin here. Because it actually looks pretty cool. Alright. So now. I have to. Um, do the front face here now. Now. The front face here. There's this. Um, little thing here. I guess that you pull this back afterwards. So this is going to be interesting how how we're going to attempt to do this. I think probably the best thing to do is maybe take and line it up with the with um, the volumes here and with the vent and the holes here. I think it'd be probably the best the best idea. Um, yeah. So they'll give that a try and see. So far, so far things are going good. So, um, alrighty here. Uh, let's see here. Which way should I peel this? Maybe from this side here. Uh, let's see here. So let's try to peel from this side here and hopefully I'll be able to pick everything up. Nope, that's not, it's picking up. Okay, so let's try this side. Because you want to be able to take, take it all. So we're going to be careful with this section here because it's so thin. Oh. 
Uh oh, uh, that's not a good thing. So we're gonna pull. So be very gentle. I've noticed you need to be very, very, very gentle with this. As you can see, it's um okay. I got it off. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it halfway through on here. And I don't want to take that off here. So be very, very patient and very gentle with this, with this section here. Okay, so I'm going to install this on top of here. Let's see if I can actually get this to line up here. here and this thing is sticking pretty well to the switch man like it's pretty uh, pretty satisfactory now I got to pull this back here now got to uh, take this off I'm gonna pull this over here so that I can take and set this into place Just like that. And then this one here. And of course, I'm going to uh, uh, take the heat to it afterwards and pull this out. Jeez, this is a uh, this is the hardest part. But if you be patient, you can you'll be able to do it. So now this is lifting up over here because I think it might because of the uh, actual tempered glass I have on here. So I might have to actually. Of course, this section here is, yeah, so this actually moved on me, so I'm going to have to uh, peel this back again, and so I can fix it. So in other words, this is going to be the one that's going to be the worst, the worst to get it to uh, to line up here. It's like I already noticing that. So uh, yeah, see how I don't know if I can show you guys or not. 
so see how that's uh, come on focus focus there it is see how that overlaps you see how it covers up the uh, the label because this up here actually moved on me this side is good it's just got to shift <coughs> I need to shift the skin upwards so I'm gonna attempt to pull and now let's um, try to get this the way it's supposed to be here so we're going to pull there and Looks like it's pretty pretty close. So I'll apply heat onto that. So I'll push this back. Maybe I should have removed the um, the um, screen protector. But anyway. This is going to disappear, and uh, so will this. So I'm going to apply some heat across here. Okay, so let's uh, fold this in. And now I'm going to take and peel this section off. Just make sure that everything stays intact. Alrighty. Just going to put that there for now. And now I'll just finish bringing this down so it looks like it is kind of sitting on the um, tempered glass so I think what I'm going to do is because I have um, actually you know what Actually, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm, I'm satisfied. First attempt, and actually looks pretty good anyway. So. There we go. Actually, when you apply heat, I notice when you apply heat, it actually... Eliminates a lot of the uh, a lot of the um, creases off of here. There we go. Pain in the ass, but it's doable. This is not a it's not a tutorial by any means. This is just a video demonstrating on how easy it actually is to uh, to install this so there you go actually looks pretty cool in my opinion I'm happy with it it'll protect the switch from more scratches and and I'll probably do a, a um, um, 
like a month review or something like that and see how well the skin actually holds up by fingerprints and things like that and see if it's actually worth any money or not so anyhow that's uh, pretty much pretty much the uh, unboxing of the D brand skin for the Nintendo Switch this is not a sponsored video by any means I just want to make that clear so um, yeah so now you have an idea how how difficult this is actually to put on to me I find getting this section here was the hardest part for me um, if you do have a tempered glass on here um, I recommend that you guys uh, buy a tempered glass along with this package or if you did get the double pack from Nintendo where it gave you two tempered glasses um, I recommend I highly recommend taking the tempered glass off first and putting your skin into place and putting the tempered glass in that way it doesn't kind of interfere with the actual tempered glass here at all because I think this right here is actually sitting on a tempered glass I might actually um, take the take this off at a later date and uh, reinstall the new tempered glass on here I don't know if the tempered glass from D brand is actually a little bit smaller to accommodate the actual um, skin around the screen or not I'm not sure I might actually um, go ahead and purchase that and if I do I'll, I'll definitely be making a video on on that on that part there as well so anyway that is pretty much uh, the unboxing and installation of the D brand skin onto your Nintendo switch uh, I think I did a pretty good job on my first attempt sure it's not 100% perfect but it'll do its job and hey doesn't it look cool man freaking does I'm happy what I've chosen if I would have chose a different color, it probably would look pretty badass too. But this looks pretty badass in my opinion. Damn right. So, anyway. That's, that's it. That's the unboxing and the installation. Um, I'll do... Actually, you know what? These pieces here are not that hard to install, but I'll uh, I'll do that too. I might as well just do this all at one shot, and 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 that's it. So just give me a second here. All right. So I got the uh, dock here too. I might as well get it all done and over with, and that's it. And that way, it's all one big video, and that's it. So. going to kind of give this a little bit of a cleaning here before I go ahead and uh, install this yeah I don't know what kind of plastic Nintendo used because you can kind of see I barely touched this uh, this um, dock and it's got fingerprints and stuff on there anyway on there already but uh, just gonna give it a quick wipe down here. Okay, just gonna wipe this down. Of course, the glass cleaner that I'm using it's alcohol based, so it will evaporate really quickly. So I'm gonna take and clean all this, clean all this here and the side here as well just like that get it all nice and pretty ready for installation so do that all right so i'm expecting this is going to be a little bit easier i sure hope so but we're about to find out right that's the whole the whole idea about this whole process so First thing is first, 
going to take this dot and take it out and install it on here if I could. There it goes. I'm going to take this section and install it onto here. Get it out of the way. All right. Now, of course, I'm going to keep the uh, the black here, and so I'm going to keep the black portion. I think that'd be the best, the best thing. Or should I? Yeah, no. I'll. Uh, then I got extra ones here for everyone to change it. I can always change it out over here. So, anywho, let's uh, pull this back here and let's see what kind of damage we can make here. Hopefully not any damage, I'm just trying to be a little bit uh, more energetic for these videos. Oh, don't, uh, don't rip anything, especially this S, don't want to do that. Nice and gentle, just pull that out nice and gentle, don't want to rip anything, just like, oh, 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 okay, maybe uh, I should have gone this way instead. So let's just pull this back here, because this section right here is actually being pulled away. You don't want to damage that. So let's uh, pull the H, and so patience, 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 patience. You don't have patience. Then uh, I guess this is not for you, in my opinion. So I'm going to take and put this back on here with the switch logo showing back on here so that we can use this as a handle and Let's see. So the actual words in the Nintendo is going to get covered. I'm just noticing that right now. So we're going to attempt to install this now. Um, so we're going to take and put that there. And we're going to. Just like that, nope, that's good, and yeah, patience, patience, and lots of patience. So we'll pull this back here to get rid of this crease. Just like that, I think. That's that's good. So you want to make sure that uh, this all fits here and looks like it's it's satisfactory for me anyway. I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna take and Pull this off, and, and now I just gently start bringing this back, just like that. That actually looks pretty, pretty cool, man. That looks cool. OK, 
Okay, that's done. Now, we're going to take a little piece of paper here. I'm going to uh, rip it, create myself a little handle, and uh, I'm going to install install the the little dot here. So I'm going to take and grab this, and I'm going to take and put this on. the edge here so it kind of gives me a little bit of a bigger bigger handle just like that All right and then I'm going to install this on here so I apologize if my head gets in the way here but this is something I have to kind of get really down and close there that's one that looks pretty cool and then I'm going to take and install this guy, so I'm going to take and peel you off, and I'm actually going to take and put them over here like this, and I'm going to actually put them on here, so that looks about good. Take and peel this off. There we go. There you go. Isn't that freaking neat? I'm happy with that. That looks badass, actually. That looks so cool. <laughs> Alright, now. Getting the strip installed here now this looks like it has a cutout here so what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to peel this back a little bit and um, just rip rip the sheet off and then peel back rip the sheet off right and uh, take and Pull this back again, and I'm gonna take it lay this down, and then I'm actually gonna take and pull this off. So I'm guessing that this section back here is gonna stay exposed like that. Unless I can get this thing to kind of shift over, I might be able to actually, if I can pull it back. Yeah, actually I was able to get it to pull back here. So, alright, so it looks like it'd be easiest to take the middle part off as you uh, go along so you can kind of line it up so we can just take and pull back here and I'm going to take and so like that this side here just like that and then 
course, I'm going to do the rest of it here. So just want to take and line it up here and then this let it up over here to pull this back and if everything's all went correctly these holes and everything on should all light up here and does it? it doesn't seem like it does but uh, well doesn't seem like it will so let's just pull this back here and let's see here if I can get this thing to So, I know I don't know if this is because it's, if it's bigger or what, because it seems like seems like it might actually be a little um, Well, looks like I wonder if I should. Cause this side looks like it adds. It's pretty much pretty closely lined up over here, as you can see. But then, when you get over here, looks like it's not really lining up properly. So. I don't know if this is something to do with the actual the actual uh, oh actually right like there looks like it lights up maybe I just stretched it too much yeah see it's not lining up properly over here so um, I wonder if I should, maybe I stretched it too much, perhaps. I could have stretched it too much too, right? And I don't know if I'm going to be able to, uh, get this off here or not, but... Let's uh, try here. Let's do this off. And. And. Pull back. Pull back. We'll take the actual string in here. Oh, well. Pull back to head. Let's do it here. Pull back to head. Let's do it here. Let's see what happens. So I guess it's like this. Pain in the ass. As you can see. Take this to you. Let's decide to hit it. Do it very well. Then I'll uh, push it off. I'm going to start the skin. Here for off this. I'll hold 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 Fit. So, so the best thing to do, you guys, is start from the other side first. Start from the other side first and work your uh, work your way to 
towards the, uh, the other side I find that's uh, what I just figured out right now so I'm hoping that this video is going to be useful for everybody else and because uh, I've never actually seen a proper video of how much it actually is to uh, to get this installed so there it is so like I say again start from this side here from your USB uh, ports and uh, when you're applying it don't kind of stretch it because then you'll you'll kind of bend it then by the time you get back over here get back to this side over here then it won't fit properly as, as you've seen when I was trying to uh, to install this here so there we go now the question is will the switch fit in here still more the truth actually it actually feels a little tighter a little snugger um, it doesn't move around very much no more but uh, yeah so I'll uh, I'll keep I'll keep you guys noted I'll keep you guys updated on uh, you know how well this this actually holds up uh, maybe six months or so from this video is released and uh, yeah let's see if this actually holds off or not but yeah I'm actually pretty happy the way it turned out it was pretty pretty cool so that's it for this video I don't know how long this video is actually going to be about 28 minutes or so I um, might try to condense it down a little bit for you guys but uh, yeah so that's uh, basically the unboxing the installation of the Nintendo Switch D brand carbon fiber edition of course where it's my prefer prefer preference but uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Um, if you enjoyed my content, please subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And uh, until the next video, goodbye.